Okay. I got the big box on the floor here, so we're going to be picking things out one by one. But before I get to that, I wanted to say that uh, it's been a week and a half since I had my wisdom teeth taken out. And for the most part, this side was fine, it's still fine, and up here was fine. But down here was yeah, an experience and a half, let me tell you. This was impacted. Instead of growing out, it grew in. So, yeah, how about that? I'm, it's surprising that I haven't really experienced much pain at all over the years as this was growing inward. And since taking it out, this has been hurting like hell. It was swollen right here and it was hard to eat anything because of this. It was even hard to swallow for a couple of days, but after a little while, after maybe about five days or something, it started to calm down and it became a little easier to eat. And right now I can eat just fine. Although I still feel a bit of this when I eat, depending on what I eat. But for the most part, I'm fine right now. But it's still gonna take a little while for everything to heal up 100%. So. There we go. Let's get into the box. We're gonna be picking out the games that I've gotten over the past few months. And we got some big boy stuff over there on the other side of the box that I got recently. And yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna save those for last. First one up we have Rayman Raving Rabbids for the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah, this is pretty interesting. I've seen gameplay of this, not everything of the game, obviously, I've seen bits and snips of it, but I've never played the game myself, so. And I saw this in a store in my hometown, and I thought, why not? This would be a pretty nice pickup. $29.99, so a pretty good buy, nonetheless. And I think $30 and under would be a great price, a steal, for any complete in box Game Boy Advance games and stuff like that, and Game Boy Color. But depending on the type of game, like for Rayman, some Rayman titles would be more expensive than $30. But this was $30 on the, on the dot. And I've got a couple other Rayman ones in here, but we'll get to those when we get to them. But yeah, I figured why not get this one, add it, add it to the collection, and yeah, I'm probably not going to find another one in this condition, although there's a bit of a dent on this side. But that's pretty minor, especially because it's on the important notice side and not the name of the game side. This side is pretty great as it is, so pretty flat, no dent. Pretty good. So I think this was a pretty successful buy. So yeah, all right, let's go with this one. We have Conquer Live and Reloaded, the demo. We got, I have the demo disc here. I don't even know if it comes with any manuals inside, but we have the, the disc right there, demo disc, not Xbox Live enabled. I don't really play online anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is the demo disc for Conquer Live and Reloaded. Bonus features inside. Conquer doc documentary, where is he now? Conquer cutscenes, get the exclusive first look at these in-game movies. Conquer multiplayer maps. Live and Reloaded playable demo. Four songs from the Live and Reloaded soundtrack. And we also have game trailers for two games, Live and Reloaded and Jade Empire. And we also have two other playable demos in here, Mecha Salt 2, and an interesting one, Forza Motorsport. I think that would be pretty interesting to try out. I didn't, I didn't think they would include a Forza Motorsport in this, but yeah, that's interesting. I haven't tried this out yet, but I will at some point. And if you guys want to see a bit of this in action on video, then let me know in the comments below. So yeah, that would be pretty interesting. 
All right. Uh, what else do we got in here? I'm going to save some of the best ones for last. Um, I could probably go with this one next. I mean, I did get this one recently, so it does count within getting it in the last few months. And this is Kina, Bridge of Spirits, Deluxe Edition. Got this off of Amazon for 40 bucks, so I thought that was a pretty good deal, especially for a Deluxe Edition. Sealed in the case, and yeah, I have not played this one, although this one looks interesting to me. Those little, those little rot guys are cute. Those little guys, they are cute. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically a lost spirit type of game where you play as Kina and you try to gather up a team of little rot guys. I don't know why they're called rot, but whatever. And they're supposed to help you in freeing the lost spirits in the world. So... Embark on your journey as Kina, I think that's how you pronounce her name, correct me if I'm wrong. A young spirit guide, uncover the mysteries lurking in a forgotten village inhabited by lost souls. The action-packed adventure com combines fan fantastical exploration with, with fast-paced combat. Find and grow a team of shaming spirit companions to rot on your quest to free the lost spirits. So yeah. We got the Deluxe Edition, which comes with different things. And I'll probably include a picture or something here to showcase what this game comes with. And yeah, this is still sealed. I'm not sure when I'm going to be playing this. But if you guys want to see any videos on this, maybe like a first hour long video of me trying this game out for the first time, then let me know what you guys think. And yeah, this would be pretty interesting. So yeah, I got that. Uh, this one, I did mention this in one of my Mario Party 7 minigames with face cam videos. I don't know if any of you heard that, but I'm waiting to find out what you think about it. Whether, since you guys enjoyed my Rayman Raven Rabbit playthroughs, I figured maybe this one would join it. And I think you might, you might like this one as well. Rabbit's Party of Legends. Yes, got it on the Xbox One because, well, I thought at first that we had the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions, but no, they were released on PS4 and Xbox One, which makes sense. So yeah, this is a epic quest type of game, basically a historical type of game where the rabbits go in history to the different time periods. Kind of like traveling time, but this is more about the legends of the past. So, yeah. Where traveling time focus on the time periods, like the dinosaur times and stuff like that. This focused on heroes, legends of the past. So, yeah, I think that would be interesting to do and play. If you guys want to see a playthrough of this, then let me know in the comments below. I think this would be a pretty fun experience, although the music, I think, might have to be muted or I put a different song in because they're copyrighted. But I could always, I could always play this on Patreon, especially for the music, so let me know what you guys think about this. Okay, we're running out of space, oh my god. Alrighty, how about this one? Now. Well, you can probably guess what it is right here. It is Rayman. Rayman 3 for the Game Boy Advance. Oh yeah. Outnumbered, outgunned, outstanding. That part I'll have to judge when playing the game myself, but I figured why not? I did find this at the same time I got Rayman for the Game Boy Color. Ah, big box, why are you in my way? I've got the other two Rayman games here. They're both Rayman 1 type games. And this is Rayman Advance. I believe I showed this in my Game Boy Advance collection video. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that. And, but, this is Rayman Advance. I got this for $80 back in my hometown uh, last fall. And this one... 
I found this at the same time that I got this. And I thought originally that this was actually advanced, but it actually wasn't until I asked to look at this game. Because the side was all I saw, and I thought this could have been Rayman Advanced, but I'm glad I looked at it because it is the Game Boy Color, Rayman 1. Oh boy. I got this complete in box, and boy was it ever a perfect timing when I found it at the store that I go to. This was also 70 bucks, I believe, 69.99. So, being a rare game to find on Game Boy Color, especially complete in box and in great condition, I understand the 69.99 price. This was $45. And yeah, the box has seen a bit better days. I mean, yeah, it's not the best condition, but it's still complete in box. This was $45, and I figured why not? I mean, this is still pretty good. And I have the, I have the Game Boy uh, protective sleeve cases to house the games inside, so. This is really all you need to help keep the boxes from getting dust inside them and to keep them from being squished when other games are with them on the shelf. So, here we go. Uh, I had to hold off for a month in getting this, but that's because I got Rayman for the Game Boy Color instead at the time, and I didn't have the money extra to get this at the same time, so I just held it off for a month. And if you want to see the previous video where I showcased this, then I will leave a link in the description below. This is not the same as Rayman 3 on console, obviously. But in one picture here, you can see that it has the Rayman 2 lava. So that is pretty interesting. We don't really see that in the console versions of Rayman 3, but in the Game Boy Advance, so it looks like Rayman 2 Lava is coming back, so that's going to be interesting. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a playthrough of this as well. It's going to be a little while, especially because I have no means of recording this now, now that I don't have a, a working GameCube. And I can't use the Japanese GameCube because I would need to have a Japanese Game Boy Player disc in order to use it with the Game Boy games. However... I think I found a system, a Hyperkin or Retron type system, where you can actually play Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color in high definition or something like that, like 720p or 1080 or something like that. I'm going to be looking into that. So whenever I can get that, I'll try it out. And if it works, then I will definitely start playing these Game Boy Advance games that I got. So there we go.